Oh. Oh well. <laughs> Hello everybody. My name is Alex and welcome back to Upper Mississippi River Valley, which I have the giggles again because uh, I just had a very interesting phone call that I'm probably... I'm going to debate editing it in right after this, so if it's there, it's there. I just uh, I just hit the record button and uh, got a phone call that somebody got stuck in our parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> buried, buried a four-wheel drive in the parking lot. That's just hilarious to me. Any hoozle, um, the Jack Moose thing is still glitched. So we are actually going to go ahead and just uh, say bye bye to this. And we're going to work on getting our new plow. Yes, I want to sell this. I want to sell this. And this. Good. So we're clear. Uh, cultivator. And I want a big chunky. So we're gone for Salford. And I know some people are going, Salford? Wait, I thought that was a British thing. Nope. See him here all the time. So we're going to get this one. Uh, and we'll take a look at it. So 68 grand. Hopefully we'll make that money back up in the next couple days. Where oh, okay, it's right there. Uh yes, you send uh and, and missing a <laughs> hub right there. And it's got different wave blades, which is interesting. So the way <laughs> that this probably is meant to work is yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, it works the way I think it does. So spring suspension with wavy cultures plus speed equals cultivation it's not a heavy cultivator uh it's not turning a lot of dirt which is okay which you know fits our normal play style of being a bunch of hippies so any hoozle let's uh let's pull this back up come on you can do this you got this yeah no we won't be pulling it with this but uh it requires 500 or spurs but i just needed to yank it up to the house all right, I did accept one contract in field 25, uh, which is right here versus R23. I can't remember what we did over here uh, or what it was. So apparently it was corn. Hopefully I harvested it. If not, we just lost a big chunk of money, but I really can't remember back that far. So we're going to go take care of those two fields, and then we're going to do a little bit of work around the farm. And then we're going to have a little talk about the work that we're going to do around the farm. Because I need to go into GE and edit a few things. Okay, it does look at whatever time we were here last that I did, in fact, harvest this. So, hopefully this doesn't take too much time. Uh, this field does need plowed, but I'm not too awful worried about it. I know that seems very weird, but I'm honestly okay with it. So, it should be fine. So, let's see here. If I can remember how to play Farm Sim. Alright. We do have enough Hurspers. So, that's a good thing. Wait. So, we got this one and that one to do with all the weeds in it. Shouldn't be too terribly bad. Looks like we can pull it at a decent mile per hour. Hopefully we don't run out of fuel. If we do, I've got the, the fuel bowser on the Land Rover, and we can bring it right over and get it refilled. So, I guess let's knock this out really quick, or as quick as we can.
All right, I would love to go do that other field right now, except for one little thing. We are running out of time for us. So that means that I need to go and plant some cash crop at least somewhere so we can make some kind of money this year. Um, let's see here. What is ready to go? Cultivated. So all this is ready to go. Uh, what is looking decent, I guess? So I can do all this. And I think I'm probably going to do wheat or barley. No, I should probably just do a corn soybean rotation. So what did they have in them before would be the big question. We're just going to dip on over the side here. So it was fallow. Okay, so we should be able to just chuck some soybean down in here in the other one. That one's still going to be grass because I do have a major plan for this yard. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's grab our planter. And get some of this stuff in the ground. Because, yeah, if we don't get it in the ground uh, today and tomorrow, then I'm not going to make any money. And that means things slow down. Because then we'll just be right back doing the contract work. Which I'm trying to pull back. I want the I want this to be more, uh, more organic that way. That's why I didn't, like, oh, I'm just going to do this $27,000 job or whatever. You know, I want this to, to feel correct. And I did go ahead and have a look at the trees. So the amount of vertices of actual tree material for the um, for the maples, which is like what is all over this map, is significantly higher than the, the ones I was putting in, uh, just based on trunks. So we'll have to we'll have to do some dawn. I'm thinking. And this is what I was wanting to talk about. I'm, I'm thinking that I want to do a live stream uh, fiddling around with GE. Um, but that would be very, very boring for most of you. But I think that there is some... There is some growth that we could have from doing that. And that you guys could, uh, you know, learn a little, little bit from. Because I'm not an expert by any means. But we will have to to do some... Do I want to do soybeans like this? Guess we can? Yeah, this will be fine. But yeah, I want to... You know, we need to import some things like these tree models. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and import those and uh, get those set in the foul structure. So it basically be you guys watching a screen capture. But it should be fairly interesting I think um, just from the standpoint of getting getting a few things done and how I want this map to be because I'm basically gonna redo the entire thing so might as well uh, do it a little step at a time so we'll do a little bit on screen we'll do a little bit off screen we'll do a little bit more on, on streams um, and we'll just take kind of take care of that away uh, after looking at the overall map of this location uh, on Google Maps, which you can actually find if you uh, Google uh, McGregor, Iowa, is that all this road that we have here, this nice little, this is like, it's not gravel, it's like a tar road uh, texture, which is fine, uh, but the majority of this is straight up gravel, so that means... Uh, doing some painting and deleting a lot of this road <laughs> and fixing it all up and everything. So that'll be interesting whenever we get to that point. So, yeah, I want to get this done. Our bales probably ain't going to make it. I'm not too worried about picking them up right now because they're kind of uh, 
yeah, they're, they're pretty much going to fail unless I get a shut up today or tomorrow. So that is a thing. But yeah, we did get this field smoothed out, which is nice. Oh, I say that. And then miss a big spot. So we'll leave the spots. I'm not going to go back and fill them in. That way we know about what has to be done. So that is okay. We also need to come in here and plant some grass at some point as well. And I need to do my uh, my setbacks correctly uh, from like any kind of waterway. So like this would be like that little sliver to my left would be a waterway. There's supposed to be a certain setback from that uh, that we can work on. And I don't know if we'll be able to spread manure there legally. So I'll have to check the uh, the Iowa stuff and see. But yeah, that is kind of the plan that I have going on in my head right now. And then I need to just go ahead and eat these barns out of existence. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this map is probably going to become a lot different than... Uh, what the majority of you guys are used to seeing but I do believe that we can make it better I, I wanted to have the the correct feel and seeing how our other location is not too far away from this little town um, yeah I kinda got a decent idea about what it should look and feel like and currently it doesn't look or feel like that um, the town is very German. This barn is very German. And I think I would like to do something a little bit different with the barn as well. Um, one thing that a few of the modders like to do is they like to put the manure in the barn. So you got a excuse to go in there, right? Well, not only do I want to do a slurry lagoon, um, which would be... Uh, me asking Bill, Bill there kindly if I could have his uh, in-ground slurry pit and kind of reconfigure the files uh, to make a slurry uh, a slurry pit uh, up on a little hill or something like that and probably make it a little bit bigger or, or something in the capacity a little bit less just so it looks correct for this size of farm but uh, also to put in like a push-out stall uh, for for manure uh, that kind of is in the ground too so you would back up to it with like a truck or you know like a spreading trailer or something like that and you would just kind of uh, push it down in there <laughs> or you know you would uh, you would take it to heap storage or, or whatever you want to do and kind of do it that way so that's like a, a daily task then in some of these barns um, one of the dairies that we're at uh, actually does that still so it's kind of neat uh, watching how that works. Um, sadly, uh, the way that theirs works is it's a slurry, not a not a solid manure that comes out, and then it gets uh, uh, respread, uh, let's say, and then composted, or it goes through a sand lane or a screw press because this farm has like all the options for whatever reason. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's. Uh, that's also something that we could do is, you know, you would push this down and uh, the mirror would go to a conveyor belt or something and through a, a quote unquote screw press. And, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, get it out of the way. So it'd be very, very neat, I think, for us to do something like that. Because none of these barns, uh, to my knowledge, in the game have like a, a slat system right so like you're not gonna have below uh, below barn uh, manure storage so kinda wanna kinda wanna fiddle around with that and see what all we can do and see see what see what can be done to make it more manual I guess wow we're missing a lot there oh it's a big hump okay yeah, it looks like we still got some work to do. Getting this field fixed up. I know we already kind of messed with it before we quit. But it's going to need a little bit more work. Alright, got that one done. So let's work on something 
a little bit more interesting. So we're going to need to move some stuff around. Uh, mainly, probably over in the other field. So let me get everything moved. And then let's uh, take a look at what we're working with here. Alright. Before we get started here, I want you guys to be able to see my FPS. Uh, we're somewhere in the low to mid 60s on average uh, when looking at some of these barns. So again, before anybody gets their panties in a bunch, I'm just pointing out some things. So when we look at this, um, this is the wireframe for each one of these buildings. That's the difference between the house and that's the difference between one of these sheds. So, uh, the main reason for that is all these 3D panels, which is fine. Like, if this is what you want to do, that's a-okay. But I have a different idea in mind. So, we're going to go ahead and sell all three of these buildings, uh, if I can remember how. Okay. So, as we can see, that had a positive impact on our FPS. So... Uh, over that away is the other one. So, yeah, we had a pretty good improvement there. 20 FPS. It is what it is. But the next thing I wanted us all to think about is this. How is this farm supposed to be set up? So, to me, just looking at how things are, um, this looks like an older, an older farmhouse, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. It's also... Looks like an older, smaller dairy to me. So we're missing a few key components, okay? So more than likely, um, the farm itself would not be able to stay open with just the dairy or just raising cattle, whichever one they wanted to do. You're also going to have to have a few cash crops. So cash crops require what? Cash crops require storage. Um, and also, we need to look at... Uh, you know, different kinds of sheds. So, uh, the farm that's older like this probably isn't going to have, um, you know, some of the bigger, nicer things. Let's just, you know, let's just say that, right? So, we can start looking at some of these more awkward little, little sheds. You know, not like that. Eh, I have in mind that I probably want to use this one with the doors. Okay. So we just need to make sure that we're facing the right way. So, I mean, machinery storage is going to be important. Uh, and we need to think about how we get in and out. So I think that more than likely, if I had this farm set up, I'm going to loop around the house, right? So I'm going to have like, um, you know, like a shed over here to get in and out like it was before. So, you know, like right over in this area. Um, and more than likely, I would have some kind of like older hayloft or something, right? So that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking right now. And you know what happens when I think things go a little, little awry. Uh, okay, so how do we want this to be set up is going to be the bigger question. I'm going to come into GE and probably end up deleting these out of the file completely and moving and making this an actual fuel, uh, like, refill point. So we need to stop thinking of this as a drive for other than just, you know, going in and, in and around this area. Right, so I'm going to say that more than likely, I would have it something probably about like this, okay? So that leads directly out the door, should be pretty easy to to get out and move around. Now, we're not going to complete this whole thing today. It would take far, far too much time. But I do want to get a couple of, you know, items in place. So, you know, got a little workbench. We can back some stuff in. 
the header more than likely is just going to end up staying outside unless we want to pull it through um, because I suck at drag, uh, backing those up. All right, so next thing up, and I want this to look a little messy, right? That's kind of what I'm uh, going for here. So we need... I'd like to get a hayloft, but I don't think I'm going to be able to afford it. No. Four grand short. Imagine that. But we can make that back. Okay, I'm actually going to get a silo off of the off the mod uh mod uh, mod hub, whatever we want to call it. I'd like to get something like this, not the blue ones yet, uh, and kind of get that in. We're not being able to get high off either, so we're going to have to ixnay that idea right in the butt. But, but, we would have a thing for some silage. So, silage, normally, you want it to kind of be an in and out kind of thing. Oh, let's see here. That way you can pack it good. I'm going to say that we're gonna oh it's on okay it's on it's locked can I unlock that see see no it doesn't look like I can turn off grid snapping which kinda sucks cause I would like to put this you know about like this that we come in and get it. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's put our stuff. Hmm. Do I want to hear? I'm really thinking. But right here. Uh. Yeah. Let's go like that. Okay, so I saw you go back here. We get this bunker filled, and there still be room any hoozle. So can I close this? Thanks. Alright. Hmm. Old old tires, good. Good, good, good. Um hmm. Not too much else that we can do right here, right now, with this the way it is, besides add in some miscellaneous stuff to kind of fill it in. All right, let's try to fill this in a little bit and make it look lived in. Actually, you know what? I bet you I have is... Come on, because we're going to need more storage. Where are they at? Yeah, I do have this red shed in the big barn. Um, I think this might look good. I, at, at this point, I'm just kind of like, eh, what's going to fit? What's going to look good? You know, what would we have here? If this is going to be a drive, well, then we'd have some stuff, some storage, right? So let's go with that guy there. And, hmm... Okay, all right, so it's looking a little bit better. So we got our little ground heap here. You can kind of shimmy around this away if you need to. I'm thinking grain silo probably right about here, and then a road out is what I'm, what I'm thinking, right? And then we'd have just like miscellaneous storage. So... Hmm. Then that means we don't need this area so we can have some parking. All right. Yeah, I know I'm taking like forever on this, but I'm really trying to to do it up the way I think it does need to be done. So, let's go ahead and clean up uh this area. So, let's go X. Cuz this is that mower kind of miffed everything up just to be 110% with y'all. That one? No. 
That one, nope. That, no. Definitely not that. Definitely not that. That, this. Okay, so we can kind of fix this up a little bit without causing too much of a fuss. I don't want to take away like the original, you know, feel feel of the farm because I did kind of like it. But I mean, that was the main reason we come over here: one for storage, and two, um, I liked how it like was right. Like I didn't mind it too awful much. So we can take our cues and make it our own. So. Let's uh, change this over to the... Oh, wow, I don't have it. This? Yeah, it's that. Okay, yeah, we do have it. So let's just do this right here, because you'd want a little bit of a, a concrete pad, I'm going to say, for your little dealings with silage. So we're going to spend a little bit more money right here. Do it like this. Okay. Here we go. Easy to spread. Go ahead and get the gravel back. Uh, fill this in a little bit. I don't want it to be perfect. We'll go back through and, and make it a little bit better. I really, really miss the uh, rolling tool. Like That's something I legit miss. Uh, in this game was that little helpful helpful little guy so I would go through here and kind of drive around a few times and make this make this better but for right now this will do a okay just kind of clean this up a little bit and we'll come back in here and we'll do some some major detailing we'll move some stuff around okay so we have our our way out or in. Now we need to think about going this way, so we can just kind of. Our kids ain't gonna have a lot of room here to play, but it'll be fine, right? We come right around. Oh, I see something right now that we need to fix. The American flag is not lit at night, so that needs to be a thing. For sure. All right, not the best, not the best, not the worst either. All right, looking more cordial. Definitely looking, definitely looking better. So we can kind of this back a little bit. Give ourselves our driveway back, thanks. Taking that away game. Cut this back just a little bit more so we got some room to get out. We're just going to Bob Ross this up. There we go. Okay, so plenty of room. Plenty of room. Now, I don't know if I would have this graveled in. So we're going to we're gonna add some grass back in here. Just like this. So the grass is mainly to keep the cows in. Let's just keep the cows in. Go. Got some built up behind the shed here. And it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be kind of like this. Go. So, a couple little miscellaneous bits of storage can go there. And I'm probably not going to have gravel underneath my fence line either. Probably going to be grass. Again, nothing perfect. Nothing perfect. Now, this is interesting. So you'll be unloading and loading cattle here. So this would be more than likely a better a better gravel area. Nothing too super super duper fancy. So let's just kind of kind of do it like that. Yeah. All right. Starting to look better. Starting to look better. Now, would I have anything here? No, I would actually have some more grass into here because more than likely, I'm not going to be driving around through that, right? So, just trying to keep it, 
trying to keep it as realistic as... Oh, I just deleted a lot of manure. manure. So, that sucks, but we can... We can fix that up later. It's okay. I think I can probably... No, better not do that, because we're going to need that. So, there we go. It's looking... Oh, I got some in here. We'll fix that later. It's fine. So, it's looking better. It's looking definitely more interesting. Let's do the ye old college run around to find out. Destroy some grass, of course. Let's run down here and just flip this thing around. The most unrealistic thing you'll see today, which is fine. All right. So we come into the yard. This should probably be widened a little bit because I'm going to drag coming into here unless I really hang tight on the lawn. So we can worry about that. I'm going to come up into this way. Fine. We're going to move the fuel thing. So that's fine. It probably go right there. Maybe on the corner or possibly up there. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to go, oh, well, I'm going to drop my trailer off. I'm probably just going to be smart about things and whip it around. Oh, we're, okay, we're really whipping it around. And I'm just going to park my trailer in behind the barn. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm done. Things are good. We're going to go out this way. I'm probably going to fill up my grain or something or drop off grain right here. Possibly a grain dryer, which would be very nice to have. Over in this area with a couple add-ons. Nothing huge. I'm going to pull around this way. Kind of swing her wide. And out we go. Okay, that works. That actually works very, very well. Now, I just need to make it better. <laughs> make it a lot better. So, that will be a video for another day. I think that we've made a lot of progress today, and I've spent enough time just talking to you guys about stupid things. So, that's probably where I'm going to leave it. Might add in some fences and stuff like that. Um, get all these bales moved inside off camera and finish up planting off camera. Nothing too big. And I might do that out of the job. So it'd be what it'd be. We're not too worried about the grass situation. I'm probably going to end up, you know, tearing this up and planting. Uh, that way I can make the, the curves more natural is probably what I'm going to do is overdo it on the gravel and then uh, pull cultivator around and kind of cut it in how I want. I think that would be the best. So that is where I'm going to leave it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you did, leave a like. If you liked it that much, you should probably stick around and maybe hit the subscribe button. So that's where we're going to end it for today. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. 